Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this episode I'll be making a uh, carbon fibre roof for um, a company called uh, APT run by a chap called Gary Haywood. He's quite, uh, it's quite well known on the EVO circuit. Um, does, uh, he's done quite a bit of time attack um, and he's uh, reached out to, uh, to myself to produce uh, a mould and a carbon fibre roof for an Audi TT. Um, so uh, going on from a lot of um, uh, I'd also like to take the opportunity to say thank you to uh, everyone who subscribed. Uh, the last couple of weeks we've just seen the channel get uh, past its 500 subscriber mark, which is, uh, yeah, really grateful for that. Thanks a lot. But uh, I had lots of messages about the materials I use, um, just about different ins and outs of um, little things I'm missing to show people, because like, I don't know how much in depth you want me to go. So I thought I'll do a video of quite a complex um, panel, which will be the roof, um, producing the mould, um, how I receive the part from the, the customer and uh, just, just basically what's involved on this whole process. Um, uh, a lot of questions as well been coming about what materials I use, uh, where I buy them from. So I've got a couple of sort of uh, wholesale supplies, I buy my main core ones, but as a guide, um, I'll have to say a big thank you to a company called Easy Composites. Um, when I decided to make the, the transition from uh, doing a, a vacuum bag wet lay method to the resin infusion method. I bought their first starter kit um, and I've actually still got the original vacuum pump from, from way back when, when I got the kit and uh, I've not looked back since. I mean as soon as I did my first part it was a failure as I think everyone else could understand who were doing infusions but it, even though it was a failure it was that close to being a, fi a, a, a finished product it gave me the confidence just to keep trying and um, even though it was a failure, straight away I could see the quality was there compared to Wetley, the process was much cleaner. Anyway, long story short, I use their kit and I still buy materials from them now. So a big shout out to Easy Competence and I'll put a link in the comments, um, in the description, if you want to go and check out their website and buy some materials. But back onto the, uh, the job in hand. So we're going to start off by um, unboxing this and let's just see what we're dealing with. So let's get on with that. Right, finally unwrapped it. So, um, yeah, it's, in, uh, it's arrived safely, that's the main thing. Uh, it's, in, uh, it's in pretty good condition. A few surface scratches on it which need to be addressed. Um, but he's, uh, the customer's done a, a really good job of uh, removing the roof. Uh, these are usually a pig to get off. But I'll try and straighten out these little bits here, these little kinks, get them all straightened out. Uh, get some wet and dry and just get rid of where the uh, there must be like a rubber channel that goes here It's just rubbed a bit inside there. So I'll get all that cleaned up uh, So basically gonna sort of detail it get it nice and shiny nice and smooth So I mean we need to get this um, this panel to a standard of how you want the carbon fiber panel to be finished So it's got to be it's got to be mint So this is the bit that takes time now So we've got to get it all prepped get it detailed get it polished up then we can start adding the um, the flanges for where the vacuum bag seal is going to be going around the perimeter. Then it will be a release agent and then it's time for some resin. So let the fun begin. Right, so I've just given it a quick going over with some uh, thousand grit wet and dry. Um, it's already cleaned up quite a bit, but now I can just see all the little imperfections, scratches, divots, just stuff like these addressing. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just do it by hand, just go through all these little imperfections and try and um, just try and sand them back and just get it as smooth as possible. But uh, it's not in bad condition at all. Just, just a little bit more time prepping it, and it'll be ready to uh, to mould. So let's get on with trying to get this uh, this surface proper.
Okay, so that's the, uh, the flange is all added now. So what I'm gonna do now is use some, uh, some filleting wax, which is this stuff here. And I'm gonna go around the perimeter and just make it watertight now, and then tidy up a little bit of excess glue. So uh, let's get on with that then, do a bit of filleting. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life So you stole my life with clarity So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear Wanna let you know just how it felt Oh no, 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 no Don't you, don't you think we could There's a way we could be Okay, so we put all the filleting wax on now I've smoothed it all out as best I can nice sort of clean edge to it uh, it's as clean as you're gonna get it being like cut metal and the way it's been removed from the car you can you just got to do the best you, you can work with it if you like but you can see it's all nice and neat a nice good fillet there and this is all what decides on how uh, how easy the parts gonna release from the mold you want it to have a nice nice smooth fillet no abrupt angle angles uh, certainly no 90 degree angles unless you've got like a radius on the corner which I can't do with a cut metal but that's the filleting done so all I've got to do now is um, put some mold sealer on it um, then some sorry mold cleaner mold sealer then release agent and then we'll start on with the resin so let's get on with applying the resin and the reinforcements let's keep going
okay so um pretty much done with this now so i've just added some legs to it and a bit of a core material over here just to give it a bit more strength on the center uh, just so it's not going to go in and out uh, i've not put any brace down the side because we've got this uh, this channel here which will add like its own brace uh, so this will not only add it add some rigidity to it and stop it um sort of curve to changing but it'll also make it a lot easier to work with because it'll allow it to sit steady on the tabletops when we're um when we're using it so what i'm going to do now is just uh, take it outside and just get these sharp edges all smoothed off with the um with the buzz gun then we can um turn it over pull the plastic flange in off trim these bits uh, around the edge of the perimeter and then we can attempt to hopefully break the roof out in one piece so uh, let's see how we get on with that. Right, I took all the plastic off now and uh, we have got an issue. Um, you know, I mentioned about the uh, the wax making the mould watertight. Well, see here, that it's broke away, so the wax has come away from the, from the, uh, the, the roof and it's allowed resin to pour in here. So I'm going to have to sand all this back and hopefully it'll still release, but that's not a good sign. The rest of it looks fine, but yeah, this, is, uh, this could be an issue. Same thing's happening a little bit there. Oh no, that's just the uh, standard, standard roof. Well, let's just see if we can get this off. Get a bit nervous now. Okay, so that's it now the mold's finally done just giving it a good polish to give it a really nice shine uh, cleaned up the flanges as well where all the joints were so that's nice and neat now but uh yeah that's uh, that's the end result of uh, of making a mold it's been quite a long process it's took, took us under two weeks to make from start to finish um and there's a lot there's a little bit of remedial work i had to do with it because the, the roof was it was pretty straight but there was still a few little niggles with it that i wanted to try and sort out um so that put a little bit of a delay on it but uh, no, this is now ready to start um, being prepped, ready to start producing parts, which will be in the next video. So I'll call this video a day here. Uh, like I say, people who've subscribed already, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so um, if you like this sort of content. But um, yeah, thanks for your time and watching. And um, I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.